um, the uh, relationship between yeah. France and India are not and never was what they should have been because the, uh, India is a mystery from a French perspective. First of all, it was an English colony, British colony, so we were not that much interested. And, the, um, and also, uh, traditionally, French scholars have always been interested in ancient India. So you have, you know, tons of books and research and studies and exhibition and uh, eternal India. But modern India, uh, strangely enough, has not been a main topic of interest for French scholars and French economists. I mean, of course, I mean, we're, we're trying to fight that. And the, um, since 20 years, there have been a lot of improvement and better cooperation. Uh, and actually, the figures are quite good. I mean, if you look at the figures of the um, commercial exchanges between India and, Ch and, and, and France, it's not far from a, uh, um, China and, and France. And of course, there is also a lot of military cooperation and industrial cooperation. But to tell you the truth, I mean, the, um, there is still in France, I mean, the um, uh, uh, a fascination uh, toward China and kind of the uh, misunderstanding vis-a-vis uh, -vis India. And the, uh, this misunderstanding has become worse uh, since the BGP is in office. Um, because we were so much used, you know, with the Congress party and we knew them and the, uh, so for us, India was the Congress and Congress was India. And suddenly you have this totally out of the blue, uh, a party which we hardly understand in France, which makes matters a little bit more complicated. Uh, but I'm quite optimistic um, uh, because I think China sooner or later will encounter major problems, uh, domestic disruptions and international disruptions. And then I think that it's already the beginning. You have more and more French investors who say, well, maybe India, because it's a democracy, uh, maybe India is more stable and more predictable. So you see this trend now in, the, um, in, in French firms among French investors. So we'll see an increase. And this goes beyond France, of course. I mean, the, the, we have to see Europe as a whole. And Europe is slowly discovering India. We still have to understand what the BGP is about. Uh, we don't totally understand what the BGP is about. For us, it's still like a uh, exotic object and the, uh, exotic ideology. I, in my country, I try to explain, you know, but it's something new uh, to explain that the BGP is India as much as the Congress was India. Uh, you cannot escape the United States, of course. And the, um, but uh, in Europe, we don't have any feeling of superiority vis-a-vis mm -hmm. India. It's more a desire for uh, discovery. It's more about curiosity. So um, European imperialism doesn't exist anymore. I mean, the, uh, there is a strong desire and once again, this is not a criticism of the United States, the US is the US, okay? But on our side, in France mostly, uh, our incentive is really a desire to understand, to know better, to learn. And uh, I could mention so many French writers, you know, who came to India, tried to understand India, and it was Romain Roland, and you have bookstores and libraries all over India with the name of Romain Roland because he wrote about Ramakrishna and about, and about Gandhi. <clears throat> so the cultural feeling is very positive coming from on our side. On the <coughs> sorry, business from the uh, French perspective in India um, seems very complicated. Um, you never know if you are dealing with the right person. <coughs> you have a lot of corruption. In China, <clears throat> you corrupt one, just one person. You corrupt the head of the Communist Party of the province. And it takes care of everything. <laughs> so in a way, it's so much. And you know, I, I talk a lot with French entrepreneurs say, well, you know, I go to China, I give what's called in Chinese a red envelope. 
Of course, you had to find the right person, the governor or the governor's mistress of the province, and then all doors are open. In India, it's so complicated. You have to corrupt so many people. You'd never know if it's the right person that you're giving the envelope to. So uh, making business in India. So uh, the, the conclusion is that uh, in the long run, uh, it's better to do business in India. It's safer. It's safer. Uh, you don't run the risk, you know, to have all your factories confiscated like in China. You don't have the risk to have your representative put in jail like in China. So in the long run, it's better to go to India. But in the long run, it's complicated. We are going there in the long run. If you have to, if, if you want to work in a short term basis, China is easier. So that's the way most of the French and the European entrepreneurs would compare uh, both countries. And if I may add, why do we compare both countries after all? <laughs> India is India with its own destiny and China is China with its own destiny. So to say that the, uh, India is behind China, for me, doesn't mean much. I mean, I'm very hostile in general to this kind of comparison. I don't think they mean, uh, they mean a lot.